In this clip we're going to have another look at combined events and um, perhaps you'll remember that these were called a, a sample space or a probability space diagram that just tells us the outcomes. So this time I've got, I'm, I'm dealing with a coin. So I've got two coins, coin one and coin two. Well we know the only options are for it to land on heads or tails. So I could get a head and a head, I could get a head and a tail, or I could get uh, a tail and a head, or a tail and a tail. And that's quite straightforward. Remember, we've got uh, two options on either side, so the total outcomes are four. Now, where it gets a bit trickier is uh, sometimes we might be asked, well, we've got three coins. What are the probabilities now, or what are the outcomes if we've got three coins? Now, I think it's a bit tricky. I, because obviously we've only got two axes that we can use. What I tend to do is this. I will say, I'll take that information and I'll say, okay, so what have we got here that's going to help us? Well, we could have, um, we could have a head and a head, or we could have a head and a, a tail, or we could have a, a tail and a head, or we could have a tail and a tail. Okay, so that's what we've discovered when we use two coins. Now we're adding a third coin in, so actually we've got those two options again, haven't we? So really all it tells us is that I could have a head, head and head. I could have head, head and tail. And again, you can see how this fits together nicely, can't you? So now I've got, I could have head, tail, head, or head, tail, tail, I've got tail, head, head, and then I've got tail, head, tail, or I've got tail, tail, head, or I've got tail, tail, tail. And then the question will go on and it, it'll, it will ask us to interrogate that information. So it might say, um, what's the probability if I flip three coins that, um, that all the coins will either be heads so there we can look and think, right, okay, how many options have we got? What's the outcomes? Well, this time we've got eight outcomes. Now that's interesting as well, and just notice, so we had we had four there. Now we've got two, we have two options on coin one, two options on coin two, two options, two twos are four, two fours are eight. So if we multiply them together, we always know what the probability is out of. But when I actually ask what's the probability of getting a, everything as being heads, the answer, of course, would be 1 over 8. Sometimes the question says, what's the probability of, of all the coins being the same? So this time we've got to think, well, okay, that applies, doesn't it? That's relevant to us, and so's that. So if that's an eighth, and that's an eighth, the probability of them all being the same coin when they've been flipped is an eighth add an eighth, which is two eighths, which gives us, when we simplify it, one quarter. And that's it.